So we are going to be doing some drawings of lanterns today. I'm going to show you two different ways um, that I'm going to do my lantern drawing. And I want to show you some images out of some books I have. Now this one is talking about Chinese New Year. And on the last day of the festival, which is 15 days long, we hang up the lanterns outside and wish for good luck in our special new year. So this shows you some of um, the sphere shapes. So they're round, right, like a ball of these lanterns. Now we can get a little bit um, fancier where some lanterns are made to look like animals or plants, like flowers or their or their round shapes and then they're painted. So these, I love this, but what I really love about this page is how the artist used little dashed lines of yellow, almost like a little firework, and it really makes them look like they're glowing with this background here. Isn't that beautiful? You got your different animals. And this one, this is a fun image out of the Lantern Festival book. You can see all these lanterns up here. And these have some animals and this artist drew them in a different way but you still see those kind of sphere shapes and then in this book it has l for lanterns and look at these look how beautiful they are look at this fancy top okay so two different ways to do our lantern i've got a bigger paper and a smaller paper now if you're at home you of course could cut paper and collage this um, and this is different than making a 3D lantern. So uh, this is going to be a drawing or a collage. You could certainly draw it and paint it. So for the first lantern um, picture, I'm just going to focus on one lantern and I'm gonna and decorate it. So on here, I'm gonna show you how to do one of the kind of sphere ones. So for this one, I'm gonna draw an oval, okay? Now I'm using Sharpie so that you can see, but I recommend doing pencil so you can erase any mistakes. That is not perfect. Perfect is weird, so do not worry about it being perfect. If you wanted it to be a perfect round circle, you could always find a lid at home, like for sour cream, cottage cheese, and you could trace that lid or the bottom of a cup. So now I'm gonna add the top. So I'm just gonna go up, over, down. And then the bottom, I'm gonna do this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go down, down, and connect it. And a lot of them will have like little streamers, so maybe some long pieces you could put or a little tassel. So I'm gonna make a little shape and then I'm gonna make a little tassel at the bottom, maybe like this. Maybe it's gonna have some stripes on it. Okay, now for this part of the lantern, you could decorate this. You could put a cherry blossom, which is a tree that flowers, um, beautiful little flowers. You could draw a panda bear, you could draw a dragon, you could find a character from um, from Chinese, uh, Chinese characters. So for example, I've got some images here of different things and you can see, oh look, there's some lanterns here. You could look up what different characters mean. I had looked up, these are actually Japanese characters, but I had looked up health and happiness. So you could look for those to put on your um, your lanterns. Now I'm gonna do the lines coming around. It's a lot like drawing a pumpkin. Now you could just do one, two, and I'll do that real quick. And they're just curved lines like parentheses. I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna connect it from here to here with a curved line. One, and then this time I'm gonna go to the right and two. Now you could leave it like that. This is good if you wanna have some drawings and you don't want too many lines through it, but I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do one down here one more here just curving coming back down like i said it's like a pumpkin curving and coming back down now if you didn't want to draw a plant or an animal or a character you can also just go in and add a pattern or some lines so i'm going to connect these and i'm just going to make one little stripe at the top and then maybe one at the bottom and I'm making it two lines because when I color this in, I wanna be able to color like that section of color and then that. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do my little top, my little top string there. And I'm gonna have this, kind of, let's see, I'll put a little, 
loop up there. I'm gonna be having that hanging on a string, right? So now, in this picture, the focus is really my one lantern. So I probably would come in here and, and maybe add some other designs. And then in the background, I might put, I might put some other kind of strings, and these might have little lights on them. And I'm just gonna do circle lights. They really go all out for Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year decorating. It's all about a fresh start. And I can even have some, pretend I'm jumping through here, going behind my lantern. And what I love about this is, I'm gonna have one cross up here. These are all gonna be yellow and then the background could be really dark. Now, if you have watercolor, one really cool thing you could do is use a use a crayon. It has to be a crayon because of that wax. And you could color in these lights really hard. And that wax that you color in will protect the lights. And then you could paint right over that with a dark blue or a black and paint very carefully around your lantern. And then you'd have these little lights that kind of um, show up with the paint. So and then when I go to color this, I would color very carefully each little section and then have these little lights. I could do fireworks, I could do stars. Okay, so for this one, I'm actually gonna turn my page to be horizontal. And on this one, instead of the focus being one lantern, this is gonna be a, is gonna be a string of lanterns and they're gonna have different ones on there. And I'm really gonna think about those images we saw of different animals and things like that. So I could start with a line hanging here, because you imagine the city, they'd have maybe hanging from different buildings and going in different directions. So I might even have one coming up this way, and then maybe even one crossing like that. Okay, so just like we did, you could still do those, um, you know, the circular one that we just did. Boop, boop, boop. This time I'm gonna do them like that. Then I'm gonna show you, if you have the same idea, you could do it more like an oval. And again, you're just using like little squares, little rectangles, ovals, circles, things like that. Now I'm gonna add in one that's a little different. I'm gonna draw, this one's gonna connect with a little upside down V. I'm gonna draw a straight line here, and I'm gonna draw another straight line here. And I want them to be the same width, so they kind of line up. And I'm actually just gonna turn this and I'm gonna connect this with a zigzag line, okay? Now, you might wanna see if you have a little pencil, you can draw the lines here. I'm gonna try to line it up with the right side, but it's okay if it doesn't, you just try your best. So then I could actually connect these lines here and I have a, a lantern that looks like almost like an accordion Okay, that's got little pieces from it. So then I could look at my different images, you know, my different shapes, and you could do ones that are all similar to this. You could repeat this. Like I could have another one of these down here, and then maybe a, a, a more square one here. Then I could have some more of these. So you can kind of change it up and fill up the whole picture so it's just like these magical um, lanterns that are all hanging around. So I might look in here, I'm loving this little little bird here. So I might start off, and it actually it looks like two there. So I'm just gonna curve up, go across, curve up, and I'm gonna make a big U. That could also be a frog, couldn't it? Looks like a frog head. Two little triangles, two circles, doo -doo -doo. and then they've added these beautiful designs. This actually reminds me of a pretzel. So I'm gonna do, a curve, like a big smile. It does look like a frog still. Curve it under, curve it under. These are sort of the wings. Now, and they made it 3D, that's pretty cool, right? If I wanna make it 3D, I just go up, up on those two parts, connect that, and I'm just gonna follow this same line. I'm gonna follow this and go right about there. And then here, I'm gonna go down this side so it looks a little bit, we'll go up on that side too. Looks a little bit 3D. Make that line connect it so it doesn't look like it's falling. And look, they've got these different shapes in here. And then, hmm, I might even do one. Let's see, I'm gonna make a loop upside down letter U. 
I'm gonna make a rectangle. Then I'm gonna go letter C, backwards C, longer rectangle, and then I might make, I'm gonna make a few. That just made it look fancy, and really it's just little rectangles stacked on one another ones, right? I like that idea of having similar ones so they sort of balance out each other. I'm gonna do another fancy little piece on there. So I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of these, and then when I finish, I could add lights like I did on my other one. I could add fireworks. Um, I feel like I need a big one right here, like maybe because it is, uh, I could look at the animal of the year. I'm trying to look real quick for, oh no. Oh, I dropped paper. <laughs> I'm gonna look for a piece of paper I have that has the um, the animal of the year. This year it's about to be the, the ox, but you could put something else here. So take your time when you're creating your lantern picture. They can really be so beautiful. Um, if you really take your time, fill the whole space in, whether it's just one or many, maybe it's just three bigger ones, totally up to you. And color carefully, please. I know when I get to coloring mine, I'm grabbing a red because that is such a lucky and important color in China. And I'm gonna color really, really carefully. This one's kind of a pinkish red. And you know what, on this one, I'm gonna color really hard on the top parts and then lightly underneath. Look at that. So I'm making my own pattern with one crayon just by how hard I am pressing down. So yeah, a lot of, lot of red in here, but of course it is up to you what colors you use. So good luck on your lantern drawings. I can't wait to see them.